Well, welcome back. How are you? Today, we have a very special treat. We're going to uh, we're do a speed round. And, um, you know, on the speed round, we're going to be limited in time. But sometimes the time will be flexible and, and sort of fluid. So anyway, we have a lot of things to get to. We've got a whole bin. Let's do it. First off in the bin, boy, you know, when you really need a blanket that doesn't um, really keep you warm, you get some of this burlap stuff. I'm not sure why I have this big, giant batch of burlap. It smells like a goat just walked in here. Um, anyway, that's it. I've got some burlap there in this bin. Moving on. Oh, boy, there's a... What is that? How was that? What I found in here. I found the. I was going to show you these plates, but then I found this fly who somehow found his way into the bin and perished. Oh, shoe fly. So anyway, these are a little bit shiny on camera, but these are these gold uh, leaf chargers. Um, just basic. Uh, Nice black paint on the bottom, just sort of satiny. Uh, looks like there's six. And look at this. They're from Japan. This was when, this was probably made in a time where people thought everything made in Japan was junk. And there was quite a few years where they did have a lot of junk, but I mean, you know, it was a, it was a war. There was some shit that went down a couple times. Anyways, we know they prevailed in their quality in manufacturing, and then it was on China to be the cheap stuff again. And, uh, of course, they've proved themselves, I, I don't know, for a quarter of a decade now, or more, I don't know how long it's been, but there's, they've just made some great manufacturing strides that probably outperform just about everybody in the world. But yet, here we are, rattling on about cheap Chinese stuff. Look at these. These are these wool sort of, I guess it's some type of tapestry. Um, this one is, uh, see, they're all kind of strung together. This one has a, um, looks to be a camel and a tree. But, you know, this almost looks like that game uh, Pitfall. Delete it! You know the game, Pitfall. Here's another one. This one also, what's that? This one also, I guess I'm going to go this way. Boy, this stuff is wooly. Uh, here's another one that's got a nice sunset. Look at this camel's like, man, I'm in paradise. There's no place I'd rather live than Egypt. Fuck. All right. Next one, it's going to get tough. I'll have to start. Oh, here, look at this. I yet another camel. This camel somehow swam his way out to a desert island. And, you know, it could just be a mirage. He's still just stuck in the desert, isn't he? What's this one here? Well, this one doesn't appear to have a camel on it. So let's take a look. Yeah. Looks like just sort of a sun or moon over the desert. Anyhow, what else we got here? Ooh, here's another camel. Anyway, it looks like most of these are camels. This thing stinks. All right, moving on. Here is a nice blue duck. This is uh, looks to be, quite a, if I were guessing, it would be made in Mexico. It's got that, um, almost that sort of style, almost sort of that look in its eye, you know? You know how the ducks are. Hey, anyway, on the bottom of this it says, uh, maybe Sitki or something like that. <clears throat> uh, Sitki Ordek Mat Buyek. 
Anyway, it's a ceramic blue duck that's kind of artsy by perhaps an artist. But aren't we all artists? Uh, here's some here's some Americana for you. Imagine if I can dickwad. Imagine the person who painted these. Look at these. They're freaking Betsy Ross napkin holders. All five of them. Um, I wouldn't even call the art any good. They first they drew lines and oh, I don't I think there's something on. I think something came out of this bag that's biting me. Oh, it must be the American people. Yep. This is uh, this is what you find in some households. And I don't know, I say go with it. If I showed up to a dinner party and these were in my house, or in the house that I was going to, I would say, serve me up some fucking Chevrolet and apple pie. It'd be a nice dinner, actually. Alright, a couple more things. Here's some wonderful, um, I don't even know why I brought these out. Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Here's some more wool. I can't have enough of this. Look at this. This is a uh, Yodel, Yodel D, and Yodel D Diet. Anyway, I kind of like this one. It's like a, a nice, nice weight to it. Oh, what else we got in here? Some folding folding brush with shoehorn. You know what's interesting about your fingers? Often your your first or second finger, both of them are used for a shoehorn. Um, so much so that people made a whole uh, business out of making shoehorns. Like this company in West Germany, they're like, ah, we break from our East German counterparts. Now we make shoehorns. Here it is. This thing is uh, ooh, look at that. a little stiff, but it's kind of portable. You can fold it in half, so you can. I'm not really gonna take it with you, but it takes up less space and maybe a maybe a drawer or something like that. And there you go. Um, made in W Germany. Uh, there's no doubt that this is. Uh, I would say this is mahogany. It's actually pretty nice looking. Finish is fairly good. Clothes brush on here. I guess you just sort of sweep, sweep, sweep the animals. But they're always coming back to eat your skin. <clears throat> here is a gourmet guide to Chinese cooking um, or cuisine card box. So check it out get in here and you go, well, look at this, even uh, either of a picture of a couple of ladies enjoying the food or perhaps uh, the recipes uh, within this portfolio of work uh, is presented to you by these two women and you're sampling their, uh, the fruits of their labor. an interesting picture frame made out of walnut. I'm not sure who these people are, so you better look at them. Yeah, I don't know. I None of them look super familiar to me, so I'm guessing that they're not related to me. But at the, at the same time, and they all do kind of look like each other, and therefore they must look like me as well. It's the same species. Uh, all of them look to be pale skin or white or knows. Uh, so if I was an alien and I came down and looked at all four of these people and then I looked at me, I'd go, yeah, well, you guys look the same. Here's some more gold plates. Gold foil plates. These ones are alcohol and stain proof. Made in Japan. Lacquerware. Anyway, you get, get yourself some of these. They're fancy for uh, you know cocktails. You can lay them out. It's 
spread them out, watch them shine. You can um, rest the hand on one, like when you just want to rest your hand someone, somewhere, but you won't touch anything but gold. You can just have these for your hands instead of having to like, oh, that's no, that's no good. I need gold. I need gold. Oh, here's a couple things in red leather. Uh, these are pretty cool. This first one is a, um, looks like to be some type of hand sewn, I don't know what kind of, like, you know, it's not a croquet ball, but it's, uh, it's, it's the size of a baseball, um, and it feels about the same hardness of a baseball and weight. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit smaller, I don't know, you could definitely throw this, maybe it's like a cricket or whack it or one of those British games. And on the back, or on the front, it says Zenith in sort of the silver foil. Anyway, it's got this nice stitch. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice red leather ball. That smells like a mix between. <sighs> kind of smells like a um, kind of like leather. Maybe, I don't know, some type of rubber bands or something. Perhaps the interior of this has some type of rubber in it, as does maybe do baseballs. All right, we've got a couple more things in here. Uh, we've got some uh, clips. You put these giant clips right on your wall. Just put a nail on them and just hang them there. So then they'll hold things like, you know, whatever you want to hang, rubber bands. I guess you put rubber bands in there, but you know, like some paper or something like that. They're like big paper clips, but they're, or clips, but they're like closing clips. And sometimes they get in fights. Rawr, rawr. Um, these particular ones are solid walnut by, I don't know, barrier or anyway. I think they're, I think they're Japanese, but I don't really know. Maybe they live in this live in this box. Uh, we're getting down to our time limit, so let's just take a peek at some of these because the next time you have someone over for dinner, wouldn't it be lovely to serve them with some amazing gold plated Dinner silverware. Look at those god awful things. And they're of an okay weight, but they're. Oh yeah, this is some junk. I don't know how the hell. Why do I have this for one thing? But I guess also. Look at these cases. They're like this shiny sort of cute green. Oh, I only have like eight play sets of that. All right, one more thing, real quick, in this other leather case. Uh, we have a Kent brush, handmade in England, and it's a little shaving brush. I think it says Kent, made in England, pure badger on that thing. Um, I don't know who Kent Badger was, or if he was pure. But I'm going to leave him right in his little uh, carsophagus, carsophagus. Sarcococcus, or car, coffin. Well, thanks for joining me. That was longer than it needed to be. Um, next time on looking at stuff, we'll explore something you've probably never seen before.